this high and it's quite impressive to say the least. Its base is made up of malachite, a very precious stone, and it stands at 36.8 centimeters high and weighs 1.6 kilograms and the trophy was made by Salibamento Aristoco Bertoni the company in Italy especially for the World Cup so that is a trophy that the world has come to know as a FIFA World Cup usually the World Cup trophy takes a tour which is called the FIFA World Cup trophy tour this time sponsored by Coca-Cola which takes the cup all around the world to every single continent Luckily, I think Uganda is pretty much of a blessed country because this is the second time that the FIFA to uh, trophy is coming home. Well, it's coming through Uganda. It came in 2009 and now in 2018, it is indeed back. Like I said, you can see the plane behind me and I know our shortly we'll be bringing you those images uh, from Entebbe International Airport that of course showcase um, the fact that the FIFA trophy, FIFA World Cup trophy is officially in Uganda. Before here it was in South Africa, before South Africa it was also in Nairobi and for those of you who might note, I know many fans are going to go down to Logogo to make sure that they're able to see the FIFA, 20, uh, the FIFA 2018 World Cup trophy. But a few guidelines and a few rules that govern this trophy first and foremost no one is supposed to touch the trophy unless of course you are a head of state a sitting head of state that is so as we speak now the only person who's able to hold that trophy in its entirety is president yori kaguda Museveni, who is a sitting president of uganda today as we speak and any player who has won the fifa world cup so a player may be most probably the captain of a team that has won the FIFA World Cup. And as we speak now, we don't have a current captain who has won or lifted or hoist the FIFA World Cup in a tournament and won that tournament. So only one person will be able to hold that trophy. We saw just a few days ago, President Uhuru Kenyatta was the only person in Kenya who managed to hold that. South Africa, same thing, President Ramaphosa. And now here in Uganda, this trophy, after landing, landing down at Entebbe International Airport, is going to be guided to Entebbe State House, where, of course, the President, Eureka Gutem Seveni, shall hoist it up and welcome it into Uganda. It's part of the FIFA World Cup Tour, um, courtesy of Coca-Cola. Many of you might be asking, who's aboard that flight? Well, <laughs> a lot of uh, representatives from the Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola International, are part of uh, uh, the passengers on that plane, as well as a lot of security. The FIFA um, World Cup trophy is tracked. It has security devices within its cage that, it, that, are, that is tracked all around the world. It's also accompanied by four huge bodyguards, um, some of the most experienced security personnel in the world. Why is that the case? I told you about the importance of the trophy. The trophy is 36.8 centimeters, 18 carat gold with a malachite base. But most importantly, it's because it is the showpiece, it is the trophy for the biggest game in the world, the biggest tournament in the world. This year's um, 2018 FIFA World Cup shall be held in Moscow and we as UBC, your national public broadcaster within this region, will certainly make it a point to make sure that you as Ugandans are able to watch that tournament live and free in the comforts of your home. Well, as we speak now, like I told you about, just a few of the statistics surrounding this trophy. As we speak now, our, our team in Entebbe Airport is by that plane, the plane that has um, landed, taxied, come to a standstill at Entebbe International Airport with very, very important cargo. That cargo happens to be the FIFA, the FIFA World Cup trophy in all its entirety. It shall be carried out from the plane in a rucksack that was handled by the chief bodyguard of the World Cup trophy. So, we'll see someone alighting from the plane shortly. He will have a rucksack on his back. Within that rucksack will be a glass container. And within that glass container will be the trophy. 
and I'm sure security in Uganda today is very high indeed very high not just at Entebbe Airport but at uh, Lugogo as well and at uh, Entebbe State House every route where that trophy shall go of course the Uganda security is pretty much on top of it just to mention some of the very prominent people who've held um, that trophy like I said sitting presidents of every single country once a trophy touches down in your country are the only people who are allowed to touch that trophy that means when the trophy for example today afternoon is taken to Entebbe State House they shall open the glass container of the trophy and hold that trophy the president shall be allowed to hold that trophy and hoist that trophy as um, a welcome of that trophy into the country as we speak now millions of ugandans and of course east africans in the greater east african region are watching this broadcast let me take this opportunity to invite you to also watch a lot of, um, of, of what's on offer at UBC. We have some of the best local programs on this channel. We have 11 radio, cha radio stations alongside, of course, four TV stations. Well, as we see now from the screen behind me, you can clearly see that the security is on standby. The ladies and gentlemen who are wearing red are official cabin crew of the Coca-Cola um, airline that today has just landed at Entebbe International Airport and our team is there and they're bringing you those images fantastic images for people who might be wondering this is the second time that the FIFA uh, World Cup has landed here in Kampala first time was in 2009 and even that time President Jory Museveni um, did the honors lifted up that trophy at Entebbe State House and welcomed it into Kampala thereafter fans and the public were allowed to come and take photos with the FIFA um, World Cup in Lugogo Stadium. Tonight, I know there is a dinner where also the World Cup trophy shall be on offer um, for people to see, uh, for various stakeholders from um, partners of Coca-Cola, partners of government, will also have an opportunity to see um, this trophy. Now, as you can see right now, um, like I said, security, as we say in Uganda, is gulu gulu, gulu indeed. Behind there, you can see an ambulance um, or a fire truck on standby, um, the CAA. Um, who governs, of course, the airports here in, in Uganda, in Entebbe, are not leaving anything to chance. We've been told, as we speak now, um, our airspace is uh, greatly guarded uh, because the FIFA uh, World Cup has officially landed. Um, like I said, um, it's always pomp whenever the FIFA World Cup la lands in any country, and today it's in Uganda. And you can see the beautiful dances that characterize um, Ugandan hospitality. And uh, right now, um, for those of you who are watching and might not be at Entebbe, um, as we currently speak, or you're watching us in the greater East African region, um, Kampala is pretty bedecked. Um, you can see the weather is quite chilly, and it's around about 18 degrees this morning in Entebbe as well. So the dances are happening as we speak. You can see the ladies and gentlemen in red and black. Those are the official um, press crew that travel around the world with, uh, with the Coca-Cola trophy. As we speak now, uh, let me hand you over to the sights and sounds, and of course to our team who are at Entebbe International Airport this morning. You're tuned into UBC, where we inspire Uganda. The FIFA World Cup is officially in Uganda.
So ladies and gentlemen, you're officially watching um, the FIFA uh, World Cup's arrival at Entebbe Airport as we speak this morning. Let's take you to those scenes shortly um, at Entebbe Airport. Like I said, um, it is a momentous occasion for sport, sports lovers here in Uganda. The FIFA trophy is back in Uganda. Last time it was here, it was in 2009 on its way to South Africa. This time it's on its way to Moscow in Russia. And many people who might be watching might be wondering why, what is the whole hullabaloo about this trophy? What's so special about this trophy? Well, the trophy is made of 100% gold and has a base made of emeralds and malachite. So it's extremely precious. Everybody around the world wants to touch this trophy. And as we speak, for those of you who perhaps will go to Logogo or maybe will be at Serena tonight, don't be shocked, or will be at State House, don't be shocked if you're not allowed to come close to the trophy and if you're not allowed to hold the trophy. Um, I'm going to ask, of course, our producers to bring those images on our screens um, as, of course, we see what is happening. We can already see um, the necessary delegates and uh, uh, officials line up on the tarmac to receive uh, the trophy. But back to what I was saying. Um, for those of you who perhaps have imagined that you want to touch a trophy, have maybe um, thought you can take an up-close um, selfie um, with the trophy, um, unfortunately that will not be possible. What is, going to be, uh, what is going to be possible for an ordinary Ugandan or a public person is you'll be able to come and stand next to a trophy but not too close and the trophy will be in a glass cage without any um, interference. And of course, the only person, like I said, who will be able to touch the trophy will be His Excellency President Yori Kaguta Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda. As we um, see the scenes on, on your screens currently, that um, 737 Boeing airline is the one that has officially brought the FIFA uh, World Cup trophy to Uganda. And that trophy shall be uh, disembarking shortly. You can of course see now um, the ladders being um, taken down from the plane um, and the door has been opened and already we can see necessary security and personnel coming close to that plane. That means in any time, any time now, the security personnel who are aboard that plane shall also alight and the chief bodyguard who happens to be on that plane shall have in his rucksack the much loved FIFA World Cup trophy. The red carpet is also being um, drawn down to the, to the, on the tarmac right to the plane and that is because it's just a lot of, um, a lot of officials, um, VIPs are there to welcome the trophy. Many of you who might be watching might say, I can't believe this amount of protocol for a trophy. Well, uh, you saw what happened in South Africa. Um, at the OR Tambo Airport. You saw what happened also at JKIA International Airport. Um, there was a lot of funfair, a lot of performances, um, and a lot of celebration. And I think why there's constant celebration surrounding the FIFA World Cup is because people love the beautiful game. The beautiful, ga the beautiful game, of course, being football. And uh, the trophy is the representation of that. So, the FIFA World Cup trophy is officially in Uganda and our crew at Entebbe Airport is doing a good job to get us those images live and in real time. This is part of the UBC TV News where we cover every single angle. I can see some of those dignitaries. Um, we can see Sports Minister, Minister of State 
Honorable Bakabalindi is there. We can also see the Russian ambassador. Why is the Russian ambassador also there on the red carpet? That is because it is this year, the 2018 World Cup in June to July will be in Moscow. So many of us will be traveling to Moscow to watch the FIFA World Cup this year. And that's why the ambassador is there. Right after this, the trophy shall be driven to State House in Tele, where it shall be officially received by the President of the Republic of Uganda, Yorika Guta Museveni. He shall have the opportunity, the only person in the country, to have that um, glass cage removed, and he shall have the opportunity to hold the trophy in his hands. It will be the second time for uh, President Yorika Guta Museveni to have that honor of lifting that trophy. Remember the other uh, the other um, persons who are also allowed to touch a trophy are captains of a winning side. Unfortunately, Uganda, Uganda Cranes has never won the FIFA World Cup. Um, so we cannot, our captain, current captain cannot hold or touch the trophy. So of course, um, camera crew have been allowed to enter into the, um, into the plane um, also to have an opportunity um, to talk with some officials who are in the plane and also to see um, the World Cup um, from that angle. Exciting stuff indeed that we as UBC are bringing you currently. If you're watching this broadcast, you're tuned in to UBC, uh, the national public broadcaster here in Uganda. We boast of four TV stations. This main station, UBC TV, we also boast of Magic um, One, which happens to be our TV, U24, also one of our stations, and Star TV. Star TV will also be carrying this broadcast in Luganda for our Luganda viewers. We also have 11 radio stations cut, that cut all across the country, over 26 languages. Impressive stuff indeed. But what you're watching right now are the beautiful scenes from the tarmac, from the runway of Entebbe International Airport. For those of you who are just joining us, the FIFA World Cup trophy has officially arrived here in Uganda. And it's not the first time that it has been here. It has been here from, it, it was here the last time in 2009 before it was sent, before it made its way to South Africa for the FIFA 2010 World Cup. And I know many of you will remember um, that feat. And of course, just a few statistics about the trophy. This trophy is called the FIFA World Cup Trophy. It was introduced in 1974. It's made up of 18 karat gold with a malachite base. It stands at 36.8 centimeters high and weighs around about 6.1 kilograms of 100% gold. The trophy was made by Sabelemento Aristrico Bertoni, a company in Italy, in 1974. It depicts two human figures holding up the earth. The current holder of the trophy is Germany, and they won the trophy um, in um, 2014 at the FIFA World Cup. Like you can see, lots of gentlemen in suits and ladies in suits, they make their way to the red carpet. When we see that kind of activity, when we see that kind of motion, we know that shortly, as we speak, the FIFA World Cup trophy will be suddenly alighting from that plane and its handler will be touching ground and walking the red carpet. Personnel are telling the media to stand aside and only dignitaries will be able to welcome the trophy. So as you can see the various dignitaries, there you can see Mr. Bosco Onik. Bosco Onik happens to be chairperson of the National Council of Sport. He's also flanked by other dignitaries who have been given this honor to welcome the FIFA World Cup trophy to the country. So they're also being told that they're allowed to go into the trophy. They're, going, they're allowed to go into the plane. And what you can see, the handlers of Coca-Cola, the, hand, the, the, the cabin crew um, telling the we will allow officials to enter the plane once the first group has come out of the plane. They're already around about eight people already in the plane. 
When they're in the plane, they shall have an opportunity to look at the FIFA World Cup. They'll have an opportunity to taste a bottle of Coke. They'll have an opportunity to exchange niceties and also to understand the history of the FIFA World Cup trophy and the fact also they will be told about the fact that after here the trophy will be headed will be en route to Moscow where it shall be um, at its final destination uh, before the tournament in June to July 2018. It's quite exciting for ladies and gentlemen who perhaps have not had the opportunity um, to see the trophy I've had an opportunity to see it uh, quite a number of times. It is magnificent, to say the least. Um, made up of 100% gold. Um, it is 36.8 centimeters high. It has a base made up of emerald and malachite. And um, we were informed that uh, the value of the FIFA World Cup is millions of dollars millions of dollars because of the game that surrounds it the beautiful game that everybody wants to be a part of when we talk about the beautiful game we we mean football um, millions of people um, love football and i think some of the biggest fans of the beautiful game happen to be in africa and that's why um, coca-cola saw it fit that during their journey around the world the african continent would also have an opportunity to showcase the trophy. The trophy has been through um, Kenya, through South Africa, through Mozambique, and now it's here in Uganda. The gentlemen there exchanging niceties and pleasantries. It's a happy moment. We are very lucky because many other people have not had the opportunity to even host uh, the FIFA World Cup for even a few hours. So we have it here for two days. It arrives today to go to State House. Tonight there'll be a dinner at Kampala Serena Hotel where it shall be co showcased. And then of course tomorrow it shall be at Lugogo and then thereafter it shall depart. So it's here for pretty much two days. And those who are asking is that, what kind of airline is that? That's a 737 Boeing airline. Um, one of the latest and it is officially a coca-cola airline you can see it's officially branded branded by fifa and branded by coca-cola it's the official carrier of the fifa world cup trophy so every single the cabin crew um, on board happen to be officially um, those of fifa and those of coca-cola and also for people who might be asking who else might be on that flight lots of security um, the World Cup trophy itself is guarded by four very powerful bodyguards um, who walk around with it throughout the world. Wherever it goes, the bodyguard and the entourage follows it. And of course, it's also being tracked internationally by various security agencies all around the world. So it's a magnificent piece um, to behold. Um, Uganda, of course, um, has had opportunities like this in the past. Uh, we also welcomed the World Cup, the FIFA World Cup, all the way in 2009. Those of you who are joining us currently, you're tuned in to UBC where we inspire Uganda, the FIFA World Cup trophy has officially arrived at the Entebbe International Airport. It arrived 13 minutes ago. The plane, the official Coca-Cola carrier that carries the FIFA World Cup trophy 2018 touched down um, here at Entebbe Airport. It touched down successfully and taxied and came to a stop right in front of the terminal, Terminal A at Entebbe Airport. Right now, as we speak, the red carpet has been rolled out right to the carrier and also necessary officials, VIP officials, that have been sent by the president himself to welcome the trophy are now on the tarmac. You, the Ugandan government, as we speak, is being represented represented by the um, Minister of State for Sports, Honorable Baka Bulindi. As we speak now, he's officially in the plane. He's in the plane now, as our team is telling us, to just oversee, to meet the dignitaries who have come and arrived with the trophy, to go through the necessary program um, for the trophy, and also to have a drink of Coca-Cola. You might be wondering why Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola is one of the official beverage sponsors of the FIFA World Cup. So 2018 in Moscow, 
Coca-Cola will be supporting that event and most importantly the FIFA World Cup. Some of the best teams will be on show in Moscow to play the beautiful game. So beautiful scenes and beautiful sounds that we're seeing from Entebbe Airport. Our anti-terrorist anti-terrorism uh, police force is also on standby. A lot of personnel from CAA, from Entebbe Airport, are also on standby to welcome um, the trophy. And it won't be long now before the trophy um, shall make its way um, down from the plane. It will be, of course, carried by a handler, the official bodyguard. He has a rucksack on his back where, of course, um, the, the FIFA World Cup trophy shall be um, encased. We might not see the FIFA World Cup trophy right now as we speak. What do I mean? They might not bring out the FIFA World Cup trophy from its bag. So we might just see a gentleman coming out from the plane with a black bag on his back and take it through the necessary um, VIP lounge on its way to, en to Entebbe State House. It's at Entebbe State House where we'll be able to see the whole trophy in its entirety and the President of the Republic of Uganda, Yorika Gutam Seveni, will, will be able to hold it and hoist it up high. The gentleman that you're seeing now in your, your clip, that is the uh, ambassador to Russia, uh, from Uganda to Russia. And that, of course, is also Honorable Minister of State for Sport, Honorable Baka Bulindi. Behind him is FUFA President, uh, Mr. Magogo, and, of course, various officials from Coca-Cola and also officials from FIFA who have made their way, of course, um, with the FIFA World Cup trophy. So um, an attendant is now boarding the plane, and it shouldn't be long now before we actually see the trophy uh, being brought out. And of course, um, the Coca-Cola um, um, personnel are also very wary about time uh, because um, it's expected shortly, the trophy is expected shortly in Entebbe Airport, at Entebbe State House. Um, and of course, the president will welcome it there. And thereafter, it has many other stops. Um, and then, of course, it will be out of the country um, by tomorrow. Two days in Uganda as we speak. Uh, press are alighting um, from um, the carrier. There, of course, is uh, Mr. Simon Keheru. He is the director for uh, public relations for Coca-Cola. He's also the chairperson of the board of Uganda Broadcasting Corporation. Now, the next group of officials are also being told to alight the plane. They'll have an opportunity to also take a look at the trophy. They'll have an opportunity to take pictures with the trophy. And uh, thereafter, after those officials have alighted from the plane, um, we highly um, suspect that the trophy will finally be carried out um, in a rucksack on its way to Entebbe Airport. You can see also security is quite tight. Not everybody is allowed to enter the plane. For you to be able to enter the plane, you must have an official tag. Um, that allows you not just access to the plane, but access to the tarmac. Um, a lot of press have not been allowed to have the opportunity to get access into the plane. And I know our crew is um, trying hard to get you these images, and also uh, we will certainly try to get you images um, within um, um, the cabin of, of that, uh, that Coca-Cola plane, if we can. Uh, but it's quite difficult at this particular moment. And in that plane um, is, of course, the FIFA 2018 World Cup trophy. The trophy is being showcased for those who are in the cabin as we speak now. When it comes out, the trophy will be in a casement in a black bag and will be carried off right to State House in Tebe. You're tuned in to UBC where we're inspiring Uganda. Okay. At some point, I think we need to be
So there you have it, the FIFA uh, World Cup trophy is officially in Uganda as we speak this morning. It arrived 30 to 36 minutes ago. That plane, the Coca-Cola official plane for the FIFA World Cup trophy touched down in Kampala. It's one, of course, Uganda is one of the 51 countries on the world tour. Before here it was in South Africa, before there, of course, it was in Nairobi, in Kenya. And for those of you who might be joining us, you're tuned into UBC where we inspire Uganda. Shortly that trophy shall disembark from the plane just behind me. And uh, it's a lot of fun fair at Entebbe Airport. This is not the first time that the trophy has come to Uganda. It was here in 20, 2009 on its way for the FIFA 2010 World Cup. And we also were part of that. It was exciting indeed and was sponsored by coca-cola the same time and also today it's going to be sponsored by coca-cola just a trajectory of events of where the trophy is supposed to go after here at 11 it it's already uh, arrived at entebbe international airport thereafter it shall visit state house entebbe like i said only the president sitting presidents of a country are allowed to hold the world cup trophy and that means that it the world cup trophy 36.9 um, centimeters long is usually in a glass case uh, a 100% guarded glass case when it gets to Entebbe State House its handlers will remove the glass case and the president of the Republic of Uganda Yori Kagura Museveni will be able to take the trophy out of the glass case case and hold it he's the only person because the sitting head of state within this country who will be able to touch the World Cup trophy you saw the president for FUFA, um, engineer Moses Magogo, also on that on that on that plane. He disembarked from that plane. He will not be allowed to touch the trophy. That's because his team, the Uganda Cranes, and the captain have never won the World Cup. So, if you're a captain and you've won the World Cup before, then you can hold it. And also, when you hold it, um, the president of your federation stands next to you. If that's not the case, you won't be allowed to hold it. You can only take photos alongside it whilst it's in its glass cage. From Entebbe State House, it will move to Coca-Cola Namanve, of course, to the head offices of Coca-Cola Uganda, uh, because Coca-Cola is the official sponsor of the, uh, the FIFA World Cup Tour um, around the world. And not just that, it's also the beverage sponsor, soft drink sponsor for the much-touted FIFA World Cup 2018 in Russia and so they'll have an opportunity to showcase it to their staff and then thereafter um, tonight at 8 p.m. it shall be at Serena at a VIP event 
invite only uh, event, um, high-end event, and that's where it shall also be showcased to various stakeholders of government and also Coca-Cola partners and leading celebrities and known personnel in Uganda. And then tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. it shall be in the Gogo for uh, the public to come and, and, and take a look. All you have to do, we'll get the details for you on the scroll, you'll have to buy a Coca-Cola 1,000 Uganda shillings and you'll be able to enter um, the Gogo and have an opportunity to take a photo um, alongside the trophy. Just some guidelines for the trophy. You're not allowed to stand very close to the trophy. Security will let you know where you can stand next to the trophy. You'll be able to take a photo. You won't be allowed to touch the glass case of the trophy and you won't be allowed to touch the trophy. So you only pretty much have an opportunity to have a gaze at the trophy. Well, we're going to be bringing you pictures currently of what is happening at Entebbe Airport as we speak right now. Officials are ready on the tarmac. They have played um, an important role of welcoming the FIFA uh, World Cup trophy to Uganda. You can already see the cars. The first car is a Kia Toyota vehicle, um, SUV, that's at the airport on the tarmac. And what most of us understand, and according to our, our crew on the ground, is those are the vehicles that the FIFA uh, 20... Um, 2018 World Cup trophy that's here in Kampala shall be driven in all the way to State House Entebbe as we speak. Lots of hustle and bustle um, going on at Entebbe International Airport. Right now there are no planes landing at this current hour. For the one hour or so, um, there's a lot of, um, of interest surrounding that plane as we speak and that's because that is a FIFA um, Coca-Cola uh, FIFA World Cup trophy carrier, the plane that has officially brought the FIFA World Cup trophy to Uganda. And as we speak, you can see ladies and gentlemen disembarking from the plane. Um, on this note, um, let's take this opportunity just to listen in to what um, these officials have to say about the experience after seeing the FIFA trophy. How does it feel being inside there? How does it feel being inside there? I have seen it is historic that I am able to see this cup and uh, a cup which is about 40 years old since I've been seven left and uh, it's really, you know it is historic you can see it and you uh, can see it and even take a photo yeah. Thank you very much There you have it. Um, our, our, our crew was able to get some of the dignitaries um, who managed to get into um, the plane. Um, for those of you who are joining us, you're tuned into UBC, um, where we inspire Uganda. The scenes that you're seeing right now are from Entebbe International Airport. What's going on right now is that carrier, 36 minutes ago, managed to land um, at Entebbe International Airport. That carrier, of course, carrying the FIFA World Cup trophy. You might be wondering, why is it that men and women keep on going into the plane and getting out of the plane? Well, within that plane is a FIFA World Cup trophy. Stands at 36.9 centimeters long. It is 6.1 kilograms of gold it uh, has a malachite and emerald base and it is the showpiece the trophy that is won by the successful team that wins the world cup the fifa world cup so you can see ladies and gentlemen alighting that plane to take a look at the trophy those at entebbe airport will not have an opportunity to see it when it comes down to the tarmac that's because the bodyguard is, is going to carry it in a specialized rucksack, black in color. He might or she might decide to remove it in its case and show those who are on the runway, but I highly doubt. What we expect is the bodyguard, because it's, it's usually um, surrounded by four bodyguards, um, some of the most highly skilled and highly trained bodyguards in the world. They will disembark come down to the runway, walk on the red carpet, and, the, and that um, 
the trophy shall be in that casement and in that bag. So people who are outside the plane won't be able to see it. You'll only be able to see it if you enter the plane or if you go to State House and Teme or if you're at the Serena VIP, that is this evening, the VIP event, or if you're at Lugogo tomorrow between the hours of 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Well, um, for those of you who might be wondering what the FIFA World Cup Trophy Tour is all about, um, the FIFA World Cup Trophy has so far tra traversed 49 cities in 34 countries around the, the globe. The FIFA World Cup Trophy is back in Uganda today um, as we speak. You will remember that the first time that it was in Uganda, it was the year 2009 and today, 2018, it's back again. Uh, this time it's on its way to the Russian edition of the FIFA World Cup. That edition is uh, slated to kick off in mid-June all the way to mid-July 2018 in Moscow and surrounding seat cities in, um, in Russia. And of course, many will wonder why is a trophy here in Uganda? Well, Uganda is one of the 51 countries on the World Cup Trophy Tour. Uh, and this World Cup Trophy tro Tour began in Russia in September 2017. And it managed to go through many continents. And currently it's on the continent of Africa. And it has spent 78 days visiting 16 cities so far. So, um, so it is on its way around not just the African continent, but all around the world, and will, of course, end up in um, Moscow, where, of course, um, the kickoff shall be for the FIFA World Cup, um, which many of us are looking forward to. For those of you who are watching right now, what you see on your scenes is a 737 Boeing. It touched down a few uh, minutes ago, less than an hour ago, and aboard that plane were press, and various officials from the Coca-Cola Company International, from Coca-Cola International who traveled with the World Cup trophy. And also for those of you who are watching us as we currently speak, people who have official accreditation are allowed to board the plane and have a look at the FIFA World Cup trophy and also have a, a drink, a Coca-Cola drink, as they take a look at the trophy, read about its history, take necessary photographs and then they alight and disembark from that plane. What we expect in the next few minutes or so is the bodyguards carrying that trophy. Usually it is surrounded by four burly men, um, six foot looking men, bodyguards who carry that trophy. The official bodyguard has the official bag for the FIFA World Cup trophy and that bag is put on his back and he carries um, the World Cup trophy. So it's officially here in Entebbe and for those of you who might be wondering where can I have an opportunity to see this trophy, perhaps to take a photograph with this trophy, you can be able to see that tomorrow um, at the 6th of, uh, of March 2018 at Logogo from 10 a.m. all the way to 6 p.m. Um, Coca-Cola has made necessary preparations to ensure that you're able to see the FIFA World Cup trophy live um, just next to you here in the heart of Kampala. Ladies and gentlemen are starting to disembark. This is the third um, group of people who have boarded the plane. Remember they all have official accreditation to board that plane to take a look at the FIFA uh, World Cup and you can see the hashtag hashtag ready for 2018 World Cup that's a hashtag on the plane the plane is fully branded as a coca-cola carrier and it has its own coca-cola cabin crew and it is being tasked to, to take the, um, the trophy around the world to every single continent remember what the scenes we saw at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport were similar scenes to this um, at the Oliver um, Tambo the OR Tambo Airport um, in South Africa, in Johannesburg, it was similar scenes. And of course today at Entebbe International Airport, um, it's electrifying scenes that we're seeing with a lot of officials, government officials, Coca-Cola officials, uh, and lots of press, ladies and gentlemen of the press, who've come to welcome um, the FIFA 
World Cup trophy to Uganda. Senior, boss, senior, Baker. Well, there you have it, the scenes from Entebbe International Airport. Just to track for you the last few minutes or so, that carrier, the Coca-Cola carrier, 737 Boeing airline, touched down around about 40 minutes ago at Entebbe International Airport. It was much expected. It's branded in the Coca-Cola colors and with the hashtag ready for the trophy. And of course, aboard that flight were not just Coca-Cola personnel and security, but the FIFA World Cup trophy. It is taking a tour all around the world to every single continent before it heads to Moscow, where the FIFA World Cup shall be played in June to July 2018. And today it is in Uganda at the Entebbe International Airport as we speak. You're seeing live scenes here at the National Public Broadcaster here in Uganda, UBC. We, of course, bring you real-time events uh, for you, especially those of you who are watching in every single part of Uganda and the greater East African region. Many of you might be wondering, why is this important? It's important because that trophy, the FIFA World Cup trophy, trophy is one of the most coveted trophies in the world. It's worth millions and millions of dollars. And as we say in Uganda today, on that tarmac, security is indeed gulu, gulu, gulu. You might wonder, what does a trophy look like? It is 36.8 centimeters long. It's made up of 100% gold, made by an Italian company, and its base is made of emeralds and malachite. And some of the most important people in the world have held that trophy, from Michel Platini to Zinedine Zidane to, I mean, everybody, Luta Mateus, captains of some of the best teams in the world have managed to hold that trophy. Also presidents from around the world have held that trophy in their hands and hoisted it up high. Our very own president, Yori Kaguta Museveni, will be the only person in Uganda as a sitting head of state to hold the trophy this time. When it did come en route to the 2010 World Cup nine years ago, President Museveni was also the only head of state here in Uganda to hold that trophy. As we speak now, after the Entebbe airport landing, the trophy shall make its way to State House Entebbe, where of course it shall be received by President Yuri Kaguta Museveni himself. And the handlers, the security for the FIFA World Cup trophy shall remove the glass cage. It comes in a censored glass cage. Very precious glass cage shall remove it and the president shall be allowed to touch it and hoist it. He's the only person who will be able to take a personal photograph holding the trophy because he's a sitting head of state. Had maybe the Uganda Cranes won the World Cup and maybe the captain um, was still present, then the Uganda Cranes captain would be able to hold it. So it's only two categories of people who can hold the trophy. The president, um, the current sitting president of a country, and also a captain who has won the FIFA World Cup tournament and held that trophy before. So some stringent stringent conditions for people who have to hold the trophy. Thereafter, this evening at 8 p.m. at the Serena um, Hotel, right here at Nile Avenue, um, just across us here at UBC, that trophy shall be 
for all to be held at a VIP event for officials alone. But ladies and gentlemen, let, let's take you to those scenes that we're seeing right now behind me. Those scenes, of course, are of the carriers uh, from the Coca-Cola um, airline. And those rock sacks, like I said, within one of those rock sacks is a FIFA World Cup trophy. So yes, thank you very much to producers. Um, we have to take a keen, close look at those um, personnel from Coca-Cola because in a bag like that, the FIFA World Cup trophy shall be carried shortly. So the FIFA World Cup trophy has officially arrived at Entebbe International Airport. The cars that will be carrying the FIFA World Cup trophy are the, the Kia, um, SUV vehicles and you can see all the personnel from coca-cola and from FIFA are and there you see the bodyguards are getting ready to sit in the necessary vehicles to make sure that the trophy is driven off to Entebbe State House as we speak so maybe one of those bags was carrying um, the trophy like I said at Entebbe Airport on the runway we won't be able to see the trophy the trophy will be seen only by the ladies and gentlemen who managed to get into the plane and see the trophy as it was in the plane and then after that people will be able to see it at Entebbe State House and then later today at the Serena at a VIP event and of course tomorrow um, at Lugogo from 10 a.m. all the way to 6 p.m. so there you have it the entourage of SUVs from Kia seem to have already um, had all the necessary personnel sit inside those vehicles and the necessary carrier bags are also in those vehicles and shortly the motorcade shall be making its way all the way to Entebbe, uh, to, to the state house Entebbe where it shall be received by President Yuri Kaguta Museveni himself. Exciting scenes at Entebbe um, Airport as we speak. The FIFA World Cup trophy um, coming to Uganda for a second time. The first time was in 2009 en route to South Africa 2010 and now it's back en route to Moscow 2018. Dancers are also on the runway. Um, celebratory mood showcasing the beauty of the dancing in Uganda. So the Kia vehicles are on their way. I highly suspect that the first vehicle, that's the beige Kia, is the one that is carrying the Coca-Cola um, entourage and also the FIFA World Cup trophy as we speak. And you can see the, tour, the security is very high as we speak and the cars are making its way. Now um, that Kia vehicle has around about four personnel in it and the World Cup trophy bodyguard, official bodyguard, is within that car as we speak right now. Okay, um, the scenes you're watching right now um, are of the entourage um, from Entebbe International Airport for the FIFA World Cup trophy that has officially arrived in Uganda as we speak now. For those of you who might not be too well versed about um, the trophy, the trophy is called Victory, um, but it was later named in honor of the FIFA president, uh, Jules Jimé. That was the old trophy. Uh, there are two trophies, the old one, which uh, ended in 1970, and this trophy that we know as the FIFA World Cup trophy, which was introduced in 1974. It's made up 